There you go. WrestleMania. Yeah. Before we go, I guess there's a big show this weekend. Yeah, one thing, and I just saw before we started, I do want to mention. I think it's a huge mistake announcing that Drew and Bobby Lashley are opening the show. They tweeted it out. I I knew that was going to happen. I told you that. But I've been to WrestleMania's. It's like there was anticipation and excitement wondering who was going to come out. And it's like, I know now. It's like it ruins some of the excitement. And it's like... I could not possibly care less. But name one benefit to knowing ahead of time. I don't know. Make sure you're home on time. What, like you're not going to be home on time? Maybe. Give me a break. That's ridiculous. You're out there partying on spring break. Yeah. And it's like, by not knowing, there's that surprise pop to when whoever's music hits. And again, I wouldn't put the world title match on first. I think that's a mistake. I think that first match is going to get a gigantic pop anyway. Why go with one of your biggest matches? I think as long as it's a good... That's the point. That's the one thing they took away from Drew last year. They're going to make sure that he gets it this year. They're going to guarantee he's going to get his title win in front of some very happy fans. Well, I think you should have confidence in him your audience, and your product to be able to get that reaction not first. This is why and run the risk of the second match and the third match and the fourth match seeming like a downturn. This is why I disagree, Lance, because I don't have faith in them. Because I don't have faith that there's going to be something on that show that's just going to kill these fans dead, and they're going to be like, ah. And then they got to try and get back for the main event, and it's too much of a risk. If I'm Drew McIntyre, I demand going on first on night one. Well, i got to tell you, if I was... If I was Sasha, I'd ask to be on first and go to the ring first. Yeah. If I was Big E, I'd be begging to go on first and get my first entrance. If I was Drew McIntyre, I would also probably be begging to go on there first. There you go. He's no and, dummy. Well, it's it's just, it's been over a year. The crowd is going to want to pop. And I'm glad it appears that they aren't doing the pre-show gimmick, which I had suggested. They're going to get all that shit done tonight on SmackDown. And... I think the opening shot should be the arena. Is I don't know. I'm curious what it'll look like. I don't know how socially distanced everyone has to be. Maybe the crowd will still be a disappointment. I don't know. But see that arena with some bodies in it, and then that big anticipation, and then boom, whatever that person's music is. And again, I think Sasha would be great because everyone knows her music, and she always gets a strong reaction. So I think she would be a good one. And again, I think Big E would be another great one. But again, even if I was Kevin Owens, I'd like, put me on first, baby. You know, I, I love if I love the opening spot because you're going to get that great, great reaction. You know, one other thing real quick before we go, and you were going to talk about the honeymoon period and the fans. And uh, some guy on Observer Live today on the chat, they said, because I was talking about like the fiend and Randy Orton just being booed out of the building. And this guy in the chat goes, God, you'd pay all that money and go boo. And oh, there's I a thought, lot of people. Yes! Well. Are you there's fucking kidding me? People. I've been waiting to boo this shit out of the building for months now. If I paid $100,000 for tickets, I'm fucking booing The Fiend and Randy Orton. I am sick of this feud. Yeah, whatever. These fans are going to do whatever the fuck they want on day one. I, I promise you. Yes, whatever feeling and desire you had to chant over this last year is built up inside you. So if, again, if you love The Fiend, you're going to pop like crazy when he comes out. If you hate The Fiend, you're going to boo like crazy when he comes out. And it'll be interesting, and that's probably going to be the big highlight of WrestleMania. And perhaps, you know, Vince's biggest stress is he doesn't have that volume button. He doesn't have the person on the headset to no tell your, volume button. Your, your buddy, was it Eric in the uh, Thunderdome that can know what to cheer or boo upon command? It's like the power is back in the fans' hands. Let's see what they do. Now, hopefully they aren't just going to... Hey, it's our chant. Let's do our chance. It's like, you know, hopefully they'll just show up and cheer and boo how they honestly feel. And I'm hopeful that it'll be a, a move forward and it won't be too long before fans are around all of the shows. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.